Okay, so today we're going to do a problem called pulling a mass at an angle. So far, when we have uh, done pulling a mass, we have pulled it with an applied force which only acts horizontally. And in these cases, we have mg going down, normal force going up, and sometimes we've even had friction. But that's as complicated as it gets. Uh, and in these cases, right, the vertical normal force is equal to and opposite to the force of gravity. But in this question today, we're going to pull this mass at an angle like this to the horizontal. Now, this force is going to have components, horizontal and vertical. So you can see <coughs> those two forces are perpendicular to each other. And if we are given theta then we should be able to calculate the horizontal and the vertical forces. So if you remember, just I'm going to kind of pull over here, because sometimes students have hard times remembering their math. Remember so ka toa. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So if that's the case, then we know what the hypotenuse is. We want to find the opposite side, and we want to find the adjacent side. So if we take this equation, right, the, or, or let me just draw it like beside it here. If I say, OK, then what's this one? Then the opposite is equal to the hypotenuse times sine theta. And in that case, in, the, in this case, the adjacent is equal to the hypotenuse times cosine theta. So you can see these two equations, how they're derived. But now, as it applies to here, I now know that, therefore, the adjacent is equal to f applied cosine theta, and this one is f applied sine theta. So all you got to remember is the, if it's the opposite side, it's, mul it's the hypotenuse multiplied by sine. And if it's the adjacent side, it's the hypotenuse multiplied by cosine. Right? Hypotenuse multiplied by sine. Hypotenuse multiplied by cosine. So now that we have this, let us draw. Let's first do this problem. Um, well, we could do it without friction and then with friction, but it's not going to be much different. So why don't we just go ahead and uh, do this problem with friction, and then we'll discuss what happens when there's no friction. So let's draw the free body diagram here. So here's the mass. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the red components of the applied force on the mass. So I have this, this way is going to be F applied cosine theta. And this way is going to be F applied 
sine theta. Now, that's, remember, how do we draw a free body diagram? We have to say what's touching it plus gravity. So in this case, this right here is where the, the rope is connected to it and pulling. So those two forces there are due to the rope. But also the ground is touching it, which exerts a normal force up. And now we, the ground also exerts a frictional force to the left. And there's also plus gravity going down. So we have five different forces on this mass. However, we're going to do the analysis of summation of the forces is equal to F net. First, we're going to do it vertically. And when we do that, and we have to now specify our positive uh, directions, and I'm going to say up is positive and to the right is positive. After all, we are pulling this thing to the right, so pulling to the right makes sense, and positive being up makes sense. So these are my vertical and horizontal positive directions. So for vertical, I have one, two, three forces, and I'll write them down. I'll say Fn plus F applied sine theta minus mg because mg is down and that's m a vertical now in this case the mass is not flying off the ground if we pulled it hard enough it might do this so we have to be careful not to have our applied force too large or this object is going to fly into the sky we don't want that we want it the applied force just simply to pull the object along the ground uh, but you're pulling at an angle so that means that the vertical acceleration here is going to be zero in other words it's not going to leave the ground now having said that let us solve for the normal force here so I could say now, therefore, the normal force is equal to, and I'll simply take these two terms. I'll take this one to the other side, and I'll take this one to the other side. Let's take this one to the other side first. That's going to be mg. It's a negative here. It's going to be a positive on the other side, the equal. And then this positive here becomes a negative on the other side. And we're done. The, this whole term here was zero. So uh, that's that now we now have an equation for the normal force, this guy. And we're going to stop there. Let's now draw a line. And now let's do the horizontal. And we'll say, again, summation of the forces is equal to F net. Now you can see the free body diagram up here. We have positive direction and a negative direction. So I'll, I'll put them in. Applied force, cosine theta, minus friction is equal to MA, horizontal. Notice there's only two forces horizontally, and there they are. I've summed them up, and friction's in the negative direction. Now, my purpose here, by the way, the purpose of this entire problem, which I forgot maybe to mention, is uh, find the acceleration, the horizontal acceleration. So. If we solve for the acceleration, the applied force is going to be given to us. But what about the frictional force? This is where things get interesting. Because now, realize that the 
true equation for friction is mu, and in this case, the, the box is, or the whatever this mass is, it is moving. The equation is this. In the past, we have done friction. We have used an equation for friction, as in this situation, where we have said, yes, we say, OK, this force is equal to this force. So therefore, I replace friction equals mu Fn with friction equals mu mg. But this is only for the case where the normal force is equal to mg. Okay? The general form is this one. It's mu times normal force. But you can see clearly here in this problem that from here, the normal force is not equal to mg. So I can now substitute this equation into here. So I would have applied force cosine theta minus mu k fn equals ma, horizontal. And if I wanted to solve for A, I would simply divide every term by M. So I can divi divide the left-hand side by an M. And I would get my A. So now that I have solved <coughs> for all of this, um, I should provide some numbers and we could solve the problem. This is now solved all algebraically. But why don't we go ahead and uh, provide some numbers for this problem. Okay, one quick note here. I forgot the H subscript for horizontal on that guy. But in addition, maybe we should reiterate uh, why or how is this equation not valid or why is this equation here not valid anymore? Once again, remember the general equation for friction is mu Fn. But when we only have two forces here, then we could say summation of the forces, now this is vertical, equals uh, F net. And if up is positive, then I would say Fn minus mg equals ma. But I know that it's not accelerating vertically, so this is 0. So it becomes Fn minus mg equals 0. Then I can say, take the mg to the other side, Fn equals mg. Now if I substitute mg here for Fn, that's when friction force here becomes mu mg because Fn equals mg. But this is only for the case when you have two forces equal and opposite normal force and force of gravity. Whereas in our case, now, we have one, two, three forces, one, two, three forces vertically. And that's why we did this vertical analysis here. And we found Fn now, it's not equal to mg anymore. It's equal to mg minus F applied sine theta. Therefore, we can replace this Fn here. But this equation is going to get long and complicated. We don't need to do that and substitute this equation into here. 
into the normal force here. What we'll do to solve this is we'll simply calculate this value and then substitute it in. I'd prefer not to make the algebraic equation even bigger than it is at this point. So let's go ahead and give ourselves some numbers. And what we'll do is we'll say that the applied force is equal to uh, 75 newtons. And we'll say the mass is equal to 5 kilos. And we'll say that the, the angle theta is equal to 21 degrees. And mu k is equal to 0 0.15. Go ahead now and uh, pause the video and see if you can figure out what the acceleration for the, uh, this mass is horizontally. OK, so there are the given values on the right. I just wrote them again so you could see them all uh, in the same shot with the equations. Okay, so the way I'm going to solve this problem is I'm going to come up here and let's calculate the vertical and the horizontal components first. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Since I am given, so let's, let's kind of write this out again over, over here. F applied, and I've got horizontal and vertical. This is F applied uh, sine theta, and this is applied cosine theta. Therefore, if my applied force, this one, is 75 newtons, then this guy is going to be 75 sine. And my, my angle was 21, so sine 21. And this guy is going to be 75 cosine uh, 21. That means my vertical component here is going to be equal to uh, 27 and this one's going to equal 70. Okay. Now that I know that, I can calculate my, let me change my color maybe here, maybe make it easier. I can calculate my normal force by going 5 times 9.8 minus, now, F applied sine theta, that's 27. So that's going to be 49 minus 27. And that's going to give me 22 newtons as my normal force. OK? And then I can take come down here to this equation here. And I know this one is going to be my 70. So I'll just go 70 minus 0 0.15 from here times 22 divided by m, which is 5. And that's going to give me my acceleration of, I think it's going to be 13.3 meters per second squared. So I did that in black. So my acceleration is 13.3 meters per second squared. OK. So now that we've kind of gone through this solution and you've seen how you're seeing how it's done, let's take it all off the screen 
And let's now give you this problem again. But now what I'm going to do is I'll change the numbers. I will say that my applied force is equal to 89 newtons. I'll say that my mass is equal to 11 kilos. And I'll say that the angle theta with the horizontal is equal to 29 degrees. And I'll say that the coefficient of friction with the ground is equal to uh, 0 0.25. I want you now to find the acceleration of this object horizontally. Go ahead, pause the video now and see if you can calculate it. Okay, so if you did that question properly with the same equations as before, you would have gotten that the acceleration should have been 5.6, approximately 5.6 meters per second squared. So that's the end of this video.